Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to explain how example 3.4 is solved in the book. So, find the, so the question is find the node voltages in the circuit of figure 3.12. So this is the figure here and we have this super node of 1 and 2 and this super node of 3 and 4. So maybe let's name this as super node 1, 2 and super node 3 4 okay and because we need to use kcl we need to assume the direction of the current and we already given the ground here the voltage here will be zero and i want to assume the direction of the current this i want it going down this is just i just follow the arrow here so going up this i want to go to the right and this one is going down this one is also going down and this one is going to the right okay so maybe let's start by use kcl at this super node one two kcl at super node one two and kcl said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out okay let's see this super node one two here and the only current that goes in into this super node is this 10 ampere so i'll have 10 ampere there and all the other currents is going out so let's do what let's do it one by one this one is this one is going out the first one so this current is this current here will be V2 minus V3 divided by 6. Okay, that is for this current. And now this current here, so I'll have plus this current here will be V1 divided by 2. So I'll have V1 divided by 2. And lastly, it is this current here, which is V1 divided by v1 minus v4 divided by 3 so i'll have v1 minus v4 divided by 3 okay i think that's all and let's simplify this all of this by multiply all the sides by 6 so we can cancel all the denominator so on the left hand side i will have 60 and this 6 and 6 will cancel into 1. So I'll have V2 minus V3. And this 2 and 6 will cancel into 3. So I'll have 3 V1. And then this 3 and 6 will cancel into 2. So I'll have 2 V1 minus 2 V2. Okay, let's group this by the subscript. So I'll have 60 will equal to 5v1. And then for v2, I just get 1v2, right? 1v2. And for v3, I will have minus v3. And this one, I will have minus 2v4. Or I can just move that 60 to the right hand side. So I get a nice equation okay so i think that is all we can do here in the super node one and two so this is equation number one so let's number it and now let's do case another kcl but this time in the node three and four so we we'll have kcl at super node three four okay and KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. The current that goes in here is this one and that one, right? There is There are two currents that goes in. So for this one, I will have V2. Let's use blue so it is the same. So I'll have V2 minus V3 divided by 6 and then 
this one here that will be v1 minus v4 divided by 3 and that will equal to this one here and this one here so this one is p3 divided by 4 p3 divided by 4 and then this one here is v4 divided by 1 and i think for this one we can multiply both sides by 12 so we can cancel all the denominator so for this one 6 and 12 will cancel into 2 so i'll have 2 v2 minus 2 v3 and 3 and 12 will cancel into 4 so i'll have 4 v1 minus 4 v4 and this one will be cancelled into 3 so i'll have 3 v3 and then plus 12 v4 12 v4. yeah i think that's all so now let's sort it out by the subscript so for v1 i will have this one so i have 4 v1 and v2 is only came from here right so I have plus 2 V2. And then for V3, I have this minus 2 V3. And this one move to the left hand side. So minus 2 minus 3. That will be minus 5 V3. And then for V4, I will have minus 4 and minus 12. So that will be minus 16 V4. And that will equal to zero. And so let's number this as equation number two. And if we see here, we have four variables, P1 until P4, but we only have two equations. So we need two more equations. So what can we do now is we look inside the super node. So let's see inside the super node one. There is a voltage source here. Remember that a voltage source is basically the difference between this node and this node here. So in this case, the difference between V1 and V2 is exactly 20. So I'll have V1 minus V2 is 20 volt. Okay. Yeah, I think this can be the, our equation number three. And now the inside of supernode three, four. Okay, so this is not one, two, I mean. So the difference between V3 and V4 is three Vx. So I will have V3 minus V4 is equal to vx but here vx is here vx is the difference between v1 and v4 so i will have v3 minus v4 is equal to v1 minus v4 and i think this v4 will cancel each other And so I will have V1 minus V3 is equal to 0. So V1 minus V3 is equal to 0. And this will be our fourth equation. Okay, so we have four equations and four variables. We should be able to solve this, right? Let's put this into a matrix form. So for the equation one, the coefficient is five, one, minus one, and minus two. And then for the equation number two, the coefficient will be four, two, minus five, 
and then minus 16 yeah and then for the equation number three i will have one minus one zero and zero and this one will be one zero minus one and zero and the factor of the not voltages will be v1 v2 v3 and v4 and from here we will have the result equation factor which is 60 and 0 then 20 and 0 so from here what can we do is we use tools to calculate the v1 v2 v3 and v4 so i prefer to use matlab maybe because we have four variables and my calculator can only solve three variables but you can do if you can do four variables with calculator that's also okay but now let's pull out our MATLAB first. So this is my MATLAB and I just want to plug in that matrix into MATLAB. So I have our matrix here as the matrix A. So I will have 5, 1, minus 1 and minus 2 then 4 2 minus 5 and minus 16 and then 1 minus 1 0 and 0 and then 1 0 minus 1 0 okay and then the result matrix here as our p p is equal to 60 0 20 and 0 so to calculate the v1 until v4 we just need to get the inverse of a multiplied by b which is the v1 until v4 maybe let's just copy this and i got the result here can i get it paste here okay i think that's a problem ah okay that's it we have that so this is the p1 p1 is this one p1 and this is v2 this is v3 and this is v4 so I think that's all. Hopefully, I did not make any mistakes in the calculation. Let me know if I did and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.